Hello and welcome. My name is Bridget Wright, Health Educator for the Office of Public Health Preparedness and Response at Baltimore City Health Department. Let me start by saying welcome to our first ever web National Preparedness Month event. September is National Preparedness Month. For the past few years, Baltimore City Health Department has worked in partnership with Hopkins Day at the Market program Housing Authority Baltimore City, Mayor's Office of Emergency Management, and other Day at the Market partners to recognize National Preparedness Month. Today, we are going to talk about personal preparedness. We're living in a time quite unlike any in recent history. The world around us is rapidly changing. We must continue to be proactive in our efforts to be prepared for the next emergency even while going through the event we are currently in. This pandemic has been an eye-opener, not just for me and for you, but it's been an eye-opener for our city, our nation, and certainly the world at large. We're gonna to talk today about Plan 9. The number nine in the brochure refers to nine of the essential items in an emergency kit. No emergency kit is complete without its essential or foundational items. So let us begin with the first item on the list. So let us begin with the first item on the list, water. The recommended amount is one gallon per person per day for three days. I will go one step further and recommend not just one, but two gallons per person per day for at least two weeks, longer if you can do it. The next gallon can be used for hygiene purposes in the event your water supply becomes compromised in some way. Keep bottles of various sizes and store in a cool, dry place. Add a water filter to your kit if you're able to purchase one. Food. Non-perishable items. Since the pandemic began, many have already started storing emergency food supplies. Continue to build on what you already have. Add items such as canned meat, vegetables and fruit, powdered milk, crackers, nuts, um, just to name a few. Items such as peanut butter, rice, and honey have a great shelf life and goes a long way. Also remember to add flour. You can make your own bread if that is needed, necessary. All, and if you have pets, remember to add food for your pets also. Number three on the list is clothes. At least one complete change of clothes for each person and footwear. Include sturdy waterproof footwear and rainwear in case of inclement weather. Remember to add blankets and socks. You're going to wish you had these items later. Each family member can have their own bag or backpack of emergency items. Children now can help to put their own emergency backpack together and include in that bag a favorite toy or game. Medications is next on the list. Fill your prescriptions on time and put aside some to use as your emergency supply. I personally keep an extra supply of meds in a pill box in my bag that I carry every day. Write your meds down on a card and keep that card with you. The health information cards usually have room for a name and the amount of each med that you take. You can write your meds down on an already available card or make one of your own and keep it with you. Um, flashlight is next on the list. We recommend flashlights and lanterns and not candles because candles pose a fire hazard. Um, number six, can opener. Make sure it's a manual can opener in case there is no electricity. Um, next, radio. A battery powered radio for news information and other pertinent information. If there's a need to evacuate, you will need to know where the emergency shelters are. Remember batteries for your radio. Um, hygiene items include basic items such as soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, and other personal hygiene items. These items are easy to forget, so you should be so you should add those items to your kit ahead of time. Include hand sanitizer and moist towelettes along with those items. First aid kit include items such as antiseptic, gloves, bandages, and other non prescription meds like fever reducing meds and meds for aches and pains. Remember to include a face mask along with those items. Remember also to have these items in your car along with jumper cables for your car emergency kit. Now, this list is not complete by far. 
there are items that are specific to your needs and you already know what those items are. You can store your emergency kit items in a backpack or any other bag that you have around the house. Um, keep these items in a place where they are easily accessible so if you have to leave in a hurry you can grab your go kit and go. The, there are just a few other items that we recommend that you have on hand such as cash, in case the lights goes out, the ATM machines will be unavailable, a whistle, duct tape, a multi-tool unit that has pliers, scissors, and other tools on the same unit, an extra phone charger. Also, make a list of important phone numbers. Have a meeting place where you and your family members can meet in the event your neighborhood and surrounding areas is affected by an emergency. Talk about this with your family ahead of time. The Red Cross has a great family emergency plan document to assist you in creating your family emergency plan. A copy of this document is available on the Be More Prepared site. Last but not least, remember to add vitamins and minerals to your kit. Having them will matter in the long run. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Please continue to be proactive. The time to prepare is now. We do not know what is going to happen tomorrow. But one thing we do know is this, emergencies will continue to happen. I will end with one of FEMA's slogans from their Day Before video series. I quote, today is the day before. Prepare for tomorrow because you never know when the day before is the day before, unquote. Thank you very much.